Hello, this is a short introduction to using through lines as shown through AncestryDNA.com. Through lines searches for people in your family tree connected to DNA results and then other people in other ancestry trees. It will show you a pedigree type chart that will suggest the connections between you and your DNA matches. So it shows you the pedigree chart, the people in it, and the amount of DNA that you share. Here's an example from my tree. Here's an abbreviated chart showing me related to this GR. And if you look on the bottom of GR in blue, you see that we share 335 centimorgans over 14 segments. So if I want to explore this a little bit further, if I click on GR, I get an expanded tree. So here's the expanded tree for GR. You see that I am related through Johann Casper and Caroline Kraft. Which you see down here in the bottom with the green boxes and the green arrows that you're familiar with. And through that we traced back to each other and I'm a potential second cousin to GR. So let's start here with my ancestor Josiah Condit. Go to the menu bar, click on DNA, and then through lines, and choose an ancestor from the various pictures. Here I chose Josiah Condit. It'll give you a lot of connections Start with something that's the most reliable. You can tell what's most reliable because you share a significant amount of DNA. Generally, people recommend 10 to 15 centimorgans. But then, of course, you also need to pay attention to the documentation like you're accustomed to. So documentary evidence should include reliable evidence of their names and dates and places and records that substantiate them all. For my Josiah Condit, I got 23 potential genetic matches ranging from 1,036 centimorgans down to 10 centimorgans. So following from Josiah, I'm going to follow his daughter Margaret and her descendants down to J.L. and Miss Spittick. So those are two possible new second cousins with 20 centimorgans and 40 centimorgans shared respectively. I checked them through with documentation and found out that both of them have substantial records that show that they are correct and so I added them as two new cousins to my tree. Following through with Josiah again but to his son William Wiley Condit and then his daughter Lola I come down to TN and SD, and both of them have intervening people that have not been in my tree before. So I follow through and look at Maurice W. Phillips there on the left and found out that he was a reliable addition. I added him to my tree. But when I looked at uh, TN and SD, even though they have a pretty good amount of DNA shared with me, I was not able to document them, so I did not add them to my family tree. On the other hand, sometimes the amount of DNA that you share could be quite small, but they still might fit into your tree. So here's an example from another line of my family with Daniel Axel descendants, tracing down over to the WG over here, you see that I share only nine centimorgans with this person, but I decided to check it out anyway. So here's the expanded tree for WG, and you see that I am related through Francis Scott and Elizabeth Axtell, shown in the green over here to the right. Tracing back through Walter Nelson and then WG. I found five references that could substantiate this tree. 
all including census, marriage, death, and so on. So I decided that W.G. was a valuable addition to my tree and added him as a new third cousin. Let's look at how we can expand some of these pieces of information. Here we're looking at Olive May Streit, descended from Rachel Scott. So Olive May, you'll see the green box on the top right corner. If you click on that Evaluate, you get this column over here to the right. Looking in there, you see that she's listed in 1880 census and a number of trees with a number of records. So the Wheeler family tree has five records for her. The JCG tree has nine records for her. If I check out those trees and those records, I find that she is a reliable addition to my tree and I add her and then similarly down the line to DR to my tree. There are possible red flags and so look at uh, your ancestors. Be sure to make sure that you're paying attention to the reliability of the information. The red flags are things that you're already familiar with. Since ThruLine uses trees, any errors in trees can get perpetuated into the through lines. So make sure that everything has good documentation as well as the DNA to substantiate it. So here's an example with Judith Faye Johnson. If we look at her and follow through to her connected trees, you'll see some potential errors here. You'll see on the right that the Waltz family tree has two records for her. I looked at those records and found out that one was a copied tree and one was a record with a different last name that I couldn't substantiate. And then if you look at the other trees that she's in, most of those have no records attached to them, apparently just tree copying. So I was not comfortable with Judith Fay. I did not add this tree to my tree. You can also use this method to do triangulation. I know some of you are familiar with triangulation using trees. Here you can also add the genetics to that. So if you know two people, person A and B, you can see if they're related to a common ancestor through a combination of genetics and ancestry trees. Here's my example. I'm descended from Rufus Banta, who is the son of Elizabeth Banta and John Banta. After John Banta died, Elizabeth remarried to Calvin Jones, and then they had several descendants. So I wanted to substantiate that indeed the later records for Elizabeth Jones was also previously known as Elizabeth Banta. Using triangulation, I see that me and E.K., who descends from the Jones lines, do genetically match, and so I'm confident that we do both trace back to the same common ancestor, Elizabeth Banta. The DNA that we share is pretty substantial, 42 centimorgans over two segments, so I think that this is a reliable connection. So that was a brief overview. You kind of have to play with it yourself to learn about all the ways that you can explore all the people in your trees. If you have questions, um, feel free to contact us through clanhendersonsociety.org or my email. Thank you.